Hi right, guys, welcome back to Rick's Kits. Hope you've all been well on these bank holidays and Labor Days that I've been having across the world. Uh, it's good to be back. I've got a um, final for you on the PBR 31 Mark II, known as the Pimmer from the Vietnam War. Um, got in 135th scale and a Tamiya kit. Enjoyable build. Built one before. Uh, a long time ago, I, I, I may have mentioned it in the um, first or earlier stream, but uh, I built the Apocalypse Now version back then. Um, that seemed to have gone missing when I lent it to a model shop. So I fancy doing another one, so I'm, I thought I'll give it another go, do, do it again. So... Without further ado, here's what we got. Now I didn't quite say I was gonna, I did sort of say I was gonna build it out of the box. It is primarily out of the box. There's no uh no customization to it, so it's not got any extras added that shouldn't be there. But I weathered it. Weathered it and dirt it up. So this is basically what we've got. Okay, let's uh, try this again. Uh, put the video on boards because uh, I had a takeaway come to the door. Um, bit of a dumbass, really, because I never started the recording back up again. I put it on pause and uh, rattled on about all sorts of stuff to do with this build and uh, <laughs> didn't record a thing. So here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's have another go. Um, so, it is out of the box, the only modification I've done is to the flag, it's a paper flag, and um, there's, uh, there's a spare, um, so what I did was we put a bit of aluminium foil in it, so we can give it that uh, blowing in the wind crinkle type of look uh, all my guys have painted you can see from the uh, front turret gunner here um, he's a little bit uh, he's a bit out of focus let me see if we can get him in focus up, up close Ang angry looking angry looking man Teeth are out. I'd be angry as well if people were firing machine guns at me. Um, so yeah, we've weathered it up. That's about all we've done as extras. Uh, all the accessories and stuff, as you can see, they come in the kit. You've got oil cans, jerry cans, um, Coke bottles, Food flasks, machine gun ammunition for the M60. Uh, you got with go ammunition in boxes down the bottom there. Uh, very pleased with this figure. Very pleased the way he turned out. Um, in the kit, the figures are. Excuse me, man. The figures are all white. They're all Caucasians, so we all know that it's not the case with um, soldiers, <coughs> that they're all Caucasians. So I had my first go at painting a black African American, and I'm really, really pleased with the result on this figure, I really am. Here we have the coxswain, I'm calling him a coxswain, coxswain, pilot, captain, major, whatever. Not good with boats, unfortunately. Um, she's all, all weathered up. Got his radio and his binoculars, all the wiring's done for the uh, radio antennas. Yeah, pleased. 
Please with the way it all turned out. And the empty thing I did. Please with the stand. You have the PBL31 Mark II painted up on this side. I never painted the other side because it was going to be against the wall. And that is the side I should have painted. Because that's the front and that's the back of the stand. So yeah. There it is. There she is. She's all done. She's all finished. Like I said, I'm uh, pleased with the way she's turned out. It's time to move on. Uh, like to move on and get the uh, next kit on the bench. Uh, I'd just like to say a quick thank you very much to my new subscribers. I've had 11 new subscribers in the last uh, 28 days. And I'd like to say thank you very much and welcome aboard. I do appreciate all you guys, even those lovely subscribers that have been with me since day one. Thank you all so, so much for making this channel possible. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care for now. And goodbye.